putting it in the ATL. So, yo, you can start. Okay, well, so we start off where we left off last week, which was Pat leaving something in the bag. So they re- they literally replayed, like, the last, like, five seconds of the show again. So um, as some of y'all know, Maja bought Pat's domain name. So when you go into the Googles and put in Pat's Touched by an Angel, you know, salon, you see Maja's big ass face in her pretty weed line. So anyhow, um, and then Maja told Pat, you got to pay me $2,500 to get it back. Well, Pat in the bag went and had $2,500 bills printed with her face on them. So that's what we find out is in the bag, which which I got a little kiki off of. I I was like, okay, that's cute. cute. It was cute. It was old lady shady cute. Like it was right up Pat's alley, Pat's age. I still would have been okay with the dead horse head or whatever, but right. you know. Me too. Mm-hmm. I'll take this. I was thinking a snake. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, they were just think that's what you said. Yeah, 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 exactly. But okay, we'll take the one dollar bill. So that was that. Um, next scene was was it Trey? No, what was the next scene? Uh the next scene was mm, girl. Um, oh, all I remember, Deidre, right, because that's what I was about to get to, Deidre and her stupidity. It like. was Deidre and Pat, and yes. Okay, so let me set the scene, and then I'll let you explain the stupidity. Okay, so then Deidre goes to Pat, and they have lunch, and Deidre informs Pat that she's going to open her salon. She's going to have a, like, in, like, four weeks, but she's going to have, like, a recruiting kind of, like, informational session beforehand at some other offsite. Go. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know if I'm spoiling it or not, but Deidre oh, okay, really through. Why, yeah. why did she think that she was gonna get them girls to come to anything for her and do anything nice for her? Why does she care? Yeah. I was just like, Wait, what is the show doing right now? I was so confused. Hey. I was I was like, Deidre, you are very petty, I know, but you're also intelligent and I don't really under I don't really see how you would come up with this like there's nobody else that does hair in atlanta nobody right come on in atlanta and i appreciated pat for being real like pat was like you stupid yes, she was, <laughs> she is. that is true that is right and pat is real right now because yeah like you said there has to be other people and if you really want your business to be successful you know them people don't got no good in mind for you maybe reaching out to La Kenya was a nice olive branch because she used to work for you and La Kenya is smart enough to pull some um, devious shit off no. but them other four that you went to oh no honey I would have never invited their asses to shit Mm-mm. no no not especially after you didn't just stretch your voice away across Maya's Luncheon, right. and then they show clips of you fighting um, beauty on the floor last year. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was a good time. <laughs> I was just like, Girl. yeah, I ain't no coming back from that. I mean, you, yeah, you literally like rolled around on the floor with a bitch. So we don't need to be friends at this point. Like I don't have, you don't got to come to nothing to mind, and I won't be uh, sad if I'm not invited to your stuff. Speaking what? of beauty. I I have feelings about Trey. I don't know if you have feelings about the beauty and Trey thing, but I have. Okay. Yep. Okay, so let's set the scene before we go. Okay, so back to Maja. <sighs> Maja finds somebody to do her little raggedy ass infomercial, and so she's all like, uh, "I'm gonna invite Trey because Trey is a very good weavologist. That is what he referred to himself yes. as. Yes. And so Trey's there, Steven's there. She invited LaKenya, but I don't really know why. And beauty not very comes, clear comes, why LaKenya's there. It wasn't clear why LaKenya was there at all. And um, Beauty comes. You know, I, I understand her inviting Beauty. And Beauty basically is there so she could suck up. Beauty probably thought she was going to get in on the camera. She, try, she trying to hustle something up. So anyways, well, the four of them go in the back while Maja is out front selling her weave on her info weave infomercial which i'm still not quite sure what this is about i don't understand why you need a weave infomercial but i guess girl i don't live in my aunt i mean uh, atlanta um and so while they're back there oh she was just i'm sorry she because it's so crazy because she was just the one who said that her online business is doing good because clearly you realize people are online so why why are you doing something for tv (laughs) right exactly you could have a free bitch yeah, okay. you could like, 
YouTube is free and Vimeo is real cheap too. So I'm not understanding, but okay. For all your marketing um, and website skills you got, you didn't think that went through. But so uh, Trey and Beauty are backstage and, you know, Beauty, they start running down kind of some of the interactions Trey and Beauty had. Basically, Beauty was like, well, I feel like we got off on the wrong start. I feel like you came to me in the wrong way. And I feel like you're opportunistic. And then that turns into just a bunch of back and forth between her and Trey. I'm not really sure what all they were saying to each other because at a certain point it was just like, yeah, 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 But I will say this. I felt like, first of all, beauty, I think anyone with an ounce of sense knows that you, you probably shouldn't really try with a gay guy unless you're ready to go there because he did kind of read you a little bit and some of the reads were true um and i feel like some of the reads were probably truer than the rest of us knows and i feel like you kind of instigated it a little i feel like you know because trey was just kind of like well i'm not gonna talk about it like i know you don't like me he wasn't gonna be fake with you but he was just letting it go and then you took the time out of your day to be like well, I mean, I'm just saying, I feel like the way you've come at me in the past is a little, girl, don't nobody need that condescending fake ghetto girl voice from you. Like, no. you the most ratchet bitch on this show. So stop it with all that, like, well, but I mean, as if you're better than, or as if you, you know, Trey is gutter too. Trust me, Trey is gutter too. But I think what you don't like about Trey is that Trey calls you out for what the fuck you are. Steven will sit up there and play that game with you, and Lakinia just think everybody is fancy because she's just happy to be in the room. <laughs> Trey let you know, um, and he let you know in your reads, you are a bitch, you're a slut, uh, you are ghetto, you are those things. I'm not saying that you're a bitch and a slut. What I'm saying though is you portray yourself as to me, very ghetto, very uncouth, and so I was kind of like, I mean, where's the lie? <laughs> like I can't speak to your big your sluttiness, but um, I just felt like from watching it, I was like, "Where is the lie?" Like, what's, what's... I mean, every time I see you, you and then the, I mean, this gets back to even last week, like when we or the week before last. No, this gets back to last week and the week for last you trying to go head on head with mushia you didn't do well at that you be chilling up here trying to start these businesses and stuff and we finna get into this beauty by jj beauty oh. by bj shit in just a minute bitch because i'm coming for you on that for real but it's just kind of like girl you be trying to perpetrate a lot like and that's your problem and you be so busy trying to fake and be like maja that you don't realize that we all see you for what you are like you ratchet and that's fine just be be classy ratchet but you are ratchet like you just be who you are girl are. that's that's that's, yeah. that's what it is that is exactly what it is i personally um this is the thing that i have because i know this is, there's been a lot of discussion around this between black women and homosexual black men and my whole thing is, if you don't start it, then it won't be none. Like, I just sometimes, I agree with you. Sometimes I feel like just women in general, sometimes you just, hmm, how am I going to say this? Because I'm about to sound like a whole tub and I don't want to do that. Um, what am I trying to say? I feel like, I feel like beauty got what she deserved. Like, I do, and I didn't. It didn't even cross my mind that Trey had went too far until Maya tried to sit down with him at a table and was like, oh, you went too far. You can't say that to women. And I'm like, hmm. I was you like, talk bitches every episode. Every episode, you'd be like, these bitches I'm gonna, are trying to take me down. These bitches. These bitches. <laughs> every episode, you say that. Exactly. Every episode. Every and so I just I don't understand how you want him to be held at a higher standard that you're not even being held to. Yeah. I don't understand that. And the thing about it is, you know what? Because beauty would have never talked to 
I don't understand what it is. It's like Beauty would have never talked to a straight black man that way. She just wouldn't have. She would have just had a, a little bit more respect. But because he's a gay black man, you're going to talk to him any kind of way. And as soon as he come back at you, now all of a sudden, oh, but you a man. You ain't supposed to be That's talking it. to women like that. So which way you want it, girl? <laughs> you know, right. which way do you want it? That's it. That's exactly it. And on top of that, I was appreciative too of Trey when he was at the dinner with Deidre and Steven. And both of them, let's be clear, Deidre and Steven both tried to read him for filth as if. And, and Trey, I commend you for two things. I commend you for A, showing up to that bullshit. And I commend you for standing up for yourself. And I feel like you could have a career, a very talented career, and you don't need Maja and Steven to do that and I, I hope you know that I hope you recognize that about yourself um, you probably can like bring it down a little like you don't got to be on 10 but stay true to yourself don't be trying to conform to what other people want you to be as if you can only be successful if you go through them they are not the keepers of a goddamn thing in Atlanta because I don't mean no harm Maja can sell all the weave she want to but I ain't seen her install none in nobody's head right and there this show been coming on for two years. So at the end of the day, you have the talent. She's selling a product. Right. You have the talent, though. So I'm glad that you said in the meeting, you know, I'm I'm done with this. Like, I'm not going to continue to kowtow to you two and what you think I should behave like. I'm a grown man. Y'all are grown people. If y'all want to behave the way y'all behave, great. I, however, am not going to let people speak to me like that. And even though Maja kind of had a point with the you will come across women like that, and you will, because he will, because it is a female-dominated industry. But the point of the matter was beauty, like, came at him crazy. It wasn't about, oh, well, I just start popping off on her. It was right. she also said things, too. And if, 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 if Maja had sat down and said the same thing to beauty, if she had brought them two together and said, like, listen, y'all both are trying to be up-and-coming professionals. Y'all both are trying to get something going. I think the way both of y'all spoke to each other was wrong because there's gay people in this industry. There's straight women in this industry and y'all need to come together. That would have been one thing. But for you to sit down and try to read this boy just because he's young and gay and right. then just not say nothing to beauty and encourage her old ratchet ass behavior. Ma'am, no, we won't have that. Mm -mm. Either no. you're going to sit down and be Ayana, fix your life for everybody, or you're going to sit the fuck down and just be done with it and whatever. So, Steven, you you are definitely a you, you need to get out of Maja's ass. That's all I'm going to say because I think there anything else I could say would be somewhat derogatory so I'm just going to leave it alone <laughs> but you really need to stop that and for you to be so highbrow and da 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 you shall be up just up in her ass so much like I, like I said again I just applaud Trey for being like mm, Okay, well, this don't seem like this gonna go nowhere. Y'all aren't the avenue for me to go through. And Trey, we all been down that path. Like we all have tried to adjust and change ourselves because we thought, well, this is gonna be our ticket. This is gonna be the way for us to get on. This is gonna be the way for us to whatever, whatever, for for it to fall in our place. Because at the end of the day, those kind of people who want you to change to be like them in order for them to put you on, they will drop you in a hot fucking set. They, I mean, a hot second flat. They don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about your growth. They don't care about your development. They just care about what they can use you for. So anyways, that was just my, my rant thought on that little part. There you go. Um, and that's basically how I feel. There you go. So good for you. Um, and now to the next, I think, biggest thing is beauty and her several up-and-coming businesses and then the video. Um <sighs> So how did you feel about her clothing, her clothing option? <sighs> this goes back to our <laughs> love and hip hop review from Wednesday. <laughs> I am so tired of you bitches. And I do mean bitches. <laughs> Sorry. Buying this 99 cent <laughs> off the rack <laughs> bullshit. And then bringing it to your boutique or your new clothing line. <laughs> Bitch, you took oh. some, you basically, you took t-shirts. Those were t-shirts in like yoga pants that you can go get anywhere for like $12. What are you talking about? Like what, girl? Like 
like, what? And then I'm just sitting up here like, who works out in a whole one piece cat suit? Like, who <laughs> does that? Like, what? Who's, who's at the gym like, you know what, girl? You know what's really athletically inclined? I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go in my one piece cat suit. That's what I'm going to wear to the gym to work out. I'm so excited about this. What beauty. And then on top of that, like just uh, focus girl, like either do your RV hair salon. <laughs> Shout out to Alexandra Rogers. Even though I'd be mad at you sometimes. Don't be throwing all that shade to Justin J. Right. But he did, he did call it her RV hairdo hotline. <laughs> I had to Either focus on that. your RV, RV hotline hairdo place or just sit down. Like, where do you come up with this? Like, where do you just, you know who you remind me of? That nigga in barbershop who come in and be like, DVDs, <laughs> <laughs> CDs, except you're doing it in your own salon. Instead of you opening up booths for people to, who are actual budding entrepreneurs, I would have rather have seen that. I would have rather have said, you know what? For me to get a little side hustle, I'm going to let a woman who actually designs original clothing come in and get a section in my salon and she can sell her clothes out of there and we can figure out some sort of marketing scheme to talk about entrepreneurship at beauty by J salon or spoil opulence. You're like, you know what I'm saying? She could have turned that and flipped that into something for real. Instead, you trying to sell these $2.99 cent t-shirts and shit to oh. folks talking about some, this is a athletic wear line girl. No, bitch, you ain't make nothing. You didn't design nothing. Like you show me the receipts, let and then you just, had the nerve. I'm oh, sorry, let see, me just I say, go off. No, and I want you to keep going. But let me just say this, beauty. Like anyone who's really like into that type of that, like athletic wear, whatever that new you know style is, is probably going to be buying Beyonce's Ivy Park, or yes. maybe Rihanna, Rihanna's stuff she's doing with Puma or yeah. maybe like you understand what I'm saying like there are just so yeah. many other like very viable options or Lululemons or there's just so many other viable options for that stuff that you can get um or H&M <laughs> or forever anywhere like or just anywhere <laughs> why would I choose yours like why no. would I sitting here choose you when all I've seen you do is curl bump and curl hair why would I do that? <laughs> Why? I guess that's the problem. And that's exactly what Maja was trying to say in her few moments of wisdom was like, girl, you need to stay in your lane. Like last week you was asking her for $60,000 for a, uh, a RV. And now this week you like, oh yeah, I'm selling clothes out my trunk. And it's just kind of <laughs> like, I mean, which is it? What are you doing? And then to take to to insult to make matters worse. Like I was like, okay, she keeps this in her salon. I don't know why she's doing this, but fine. She tried to hustle up on a few people who come up in her salon. This bitch announces that she's making a video because she got a song for this. I just, you know what? Even Mushia's ass didn't make no runway curls video. Like, I just was like, oh my God. So now you're wasting more money on this video showcasing these, again, 99 cent pieces that it's just like, girl, why are you wasting money on this? This is a waste of money and a waste of everybody's time. And <sighs> you, you, you even said in the video shoot, don't focus on the clothes like focus on the what it looked like what everybody looks like and bitches flipping hair and shit like that girl what like are you selling your hair are you selling your hairdo skills or are you selling the clothes like what are you selling what is going on in this video like ah uh, and i just was like who cares about a video too like real artists don't even make videos like beyonce had to come out with a long form movie for somebody to watch her shit you yeah, think you go onto YouTube and go watch some three minute video to watch you walk around in some Hanes Hutway t shirts. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> and you had the nerve at the beginning of the episode talking about some Maja better not be spending all her money on this. I invested in pretty hair. Girl. <laughs> First of all, if you quit reminding us that you invested in pretty hair, we got it. We know. We understand. Second of all, even though Maja gets on my nerves and I don't understand the infomercial either. Her quality, 
her demeanor gives me a little bit more that she has some business acumen about herself than you and this three dollar video that you had your cousin Ray Ray shoot. <laughs> what is our phone? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say with his borrow cannon. <laughs> That he probably got from one of his girlfriends. You know he did. <laughs> or, oh wait, they in Atlanta. He probably knows some film student because you know it's always that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one artistic homeboy. So he probably know that one artistic homeboy who go to Morehouse. Shout out to Morehouse <laughs> and majoring in film and theater. So he do got one good camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh God, I hate you. Yes, but all of that, <laughs> all of that. I mean, you did it on iMovie, so I get it. Like it's just like, girl, that was a waste of everyone's time. We just didn't even need to do that. Um, Moshi, I don't know what's going on. Like these last two episodes, you ain't been bringing me nothing. So there you, you know, go. Yeah, I like, don't it's in, like there. Like you just show up. It's like, oh, there's Moshi. Yeah. So I don't know what's out. But anyways, it's always a pleasure so, to see her, though. So it is, yes. And I, mm, her runway curls weren't my fave in this episode. It was like a chunky, but it was like the style. It was the style of it, not the texture, but it was like more in the front and like sparse in the middle. It was kind of weird. I was like, I'm not yeah. really sure what's going on with your runway curls this month. Usually, I love her runway curls. That's why. Yeah. I, that's why. I, up. I normally am like, yes, she give me all your big hair. I love it. But this time I was like, did you run out of bundles on the side? Or like, what I happened? Was, I didn't really know. or I didn't know that she tied it down. That's what it looked like. She tied it down oh. and I just didn't fluff it out. That's what it looked okay. like to me. She just didn't that might be it. fluff it that out. That makes sense. Yeah. But, I was like, ooh. But she, she don't just, usually get caught slipping like that. I just... Oh, no, she normally on her. So that's why I said these might have been some rough weeks for her on the actual filming set. And then just to end the show out, Deidre's having her informational thing. Trey shows up um, and LaKenya shows up in like good faith, like shows up as whatever. And then as the show is ending, we see the three little pigs come walking in to blow the house down. And that would be Mushia, Beauty, and Maja. And then it cut off. So um, I guess we'll see what happens next week. I don't know if they're going to come cause a ruckus or if they're just going to come and stand in the back looking like mean girls. Not really sure what's going to happen. So, Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> So thank everybody for listening. Uh, And uh, thanks, Dope Girl. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.